while moving towards enemies, you're going to gain 30% movement speed. Basic attacks are going to deal 40 damage plus 30% of your power. This can only occur once every 45 seconds. So we're going to oh, we're going to get a little bit of a movement speed increase and then our next basic attack is going to be even further enhanced. So we have Hun Bats as passive. We're going to use our ultimate. We use our 2, we use our 3. We're going to blink in. We're going to try to get some basics and we're able to get a double kill right there. What a do, skibbity boo, it's your boy Shawnee B Gaming, and today we have a viewer request to play Han Bats in Jungle. If you are new to the channel, I upload every single day. I add some commentary to a game that I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right and what went wrong, and hopefully there's something that we can learn together. If you are a returning viewer, Han Bats has one of the best team fighting ultimates in the game. So let's go ahead and jump into his kit. Han Bats 1 is a jump. Wherever he lands, he's going to deal damage and slow enemies for 2 seconds. This slow is going to scale up as you put points into the 1. At level 1, it is a 20% slow, and at level 5, it is a 40% slow. Hun Bats 2, Overhand Smash. Hun Bats is going to do a cone attack in front of him. He has to kind of jump up in the air, and then he slams back down. Hun Bats is 3, Sacred Monkey. Hun Bats is going to throw a monkey in a line attack. It's going to bounce between enemies it can only hit an enemy god once the monkey can bounce between multiple minions pressing the teleport or the three again is going to allow hun bats to travel to the next target it can have a maximum bounce of four targets hun bats is ultimate hun bats is going to summon a totem and it's going to have a large circle around it enemies caught within the radius are going to be feared away from the center or the totem in the center and take damage every 0.25 seconds as you level this ability up, the lifetime of the ult is going to get longer. And then Hun Bats is passive. After using an ability, Hun Bats' next basic attack will deal 15% increased damage. So we're starting with a pretty normal jungle rotation. We're going to go from speed blue to harpies. We have hand of the gods, and we actually do a little bit of a misplay right there. We should have just popped our hand of the gods and used basic attacks to down that harpy camp. We hit level 2. Oh, our 3 is on cooldown. Typically we would have 2 abilities ready for this attack in mid. We're going to go ahead and use our 2. We get a little bit of poke onto Hera. We're going to get some basics onto her. She uses her Aegis. We're going to throw our monkey on her. And she is super weak. She's going to have to back, but we are probably going to be able to invade this red buff for free. Over in right lane or dual lane. The enemy is pushed up past half, or at least they're not hiding under their tower. It might be a decent time to gank them, but I think we're going to play it smart and just go for the safe XP on Oracles and our red buff. The Ratatasker looks like he's rotating dual lane. It would have been very nice for us to call that out for our teammates. Unfortunately, we do not, so that is definitely something we could improve on. A little in-game communication could go a very long way. Our speed is going to be up pretty soon. We're trying to save enough money to get tier 2 boots. We're going to go ahead and drop this Harpy Camp. And we do not have enough for our tier 2 boots. So it looks like we're going to kind of show face in mid. Hera's fallen back, so we're just going to rotate to our red buff. Our jungle shrine is almost full. Anytime we clear a jungle camp, there's going to be a stack on the jungle shrine. It takes one basic attack to clear it. It used to take three. So glad they changed that to one. We're going to go ahead and get the jungle shrine. We are now level four. So with Hun Bats at level one, we're going to want to put a point into our three because the monkey does the most damage. Then at level two, we're going to put a point into our two. Level three, put a point into our one. Level or point into our three then our ultimate whenever we can we're gonna want to max out our three max out our ultimate max out our two then max out our one we're gonna see if anubis oversteps right here he has no dash we're gonna use our monkey on him, get a basic attack so that's gonna get the passive proc to work we're gonna jump over his damaging abilities use our two get a basic and we're gonna start falling away we just hit level five so we're gonna try to turn on this rat but we don't have the mana so that was a little bit of a misplay we got a little excited we would have gotten out of there, but we saw we got our ultimate, and we were like, cool, let's just ult rat, and we should be able to confirm that. But we didn't have the mana for it. 
So we're going to be going into Warrior Tabai. Our rotation is going to be a little bit off, but our red buff should be spawning soon. So that's probably going to be where we're heading. The enemy team is most likely going to be able to secure their red buff. Try to let this Merlin know he is rotating over, so he should get some of this gold and XP. We almost pick it up. That would have been pretty bad. We're going to show face in mid. Dual lane has the enemy team push back under their tower. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of clear on this minion wave. Check the neutral harpies. They're here, so we're going to go ahead and clear these guys. Merlin helps out, so he's going to get some gold and XP. Our speed is going to be respawning soon. We do have our ultimate. We're going to try to mess up Anubis with our ultimate. Anubis is going up using his ability. We're going to use our ultimate. We're going to throw our three, get a basic attack, use our two, get a basic attack. We miss our jump, which is unfortunate. We're going to blink on him, get a basic attack, and we're able to get a pick onto the Anubis. Shablanka uses his ultimate. So we've ganked solo lane twice now. Hopefully this is going to help put King Arthur ahead. Anubis solo is not a fun matchup. So hopefully by showing face we can give Arthur a little bit of a lead and he can gain that control over that lane and we won't have to show up as much. Hun Bats has a really good team fighting ultimate, so if we can, we want to try to use it in dual lane and try to get two picks with it instead of just the one in solo lane. In an ideal situation, we're going to go ahead and back. Our red buff is not going to be up. There's a small delay, so we're going to get the tier two of Brawler's Beat Stick. We're going to go ahead and stack anti-heal pretty early this game. We're going against a Anubis. Ratatasker might have some heals. Chablanque will most likely have some heals, and then Hera could possibly have some too. So just getting some anti-heal online will be very helpful for us. Red buffs up. We're going to go ahead and jump over the wall, start working on this with Merlin. Ganesh is weak. We have our ult in 20. This might not be the best fight for us, but we're going to try to do a little something something right here. We're going to see if anyone oversteps. Shblanke might have had a ward. Right now, we should probably rotate out. We do now have our ultimate though. So if we can get them grouped up. We're going to set up a ward. Throw our three, get some more poke. We're gonna go ahead and use our ultimate, use our two. He uses his Aegis, so we're gonna go ahead and fall back. Ratatasker ultimate, we're gonna jump, try to avoid him. He's sticking to us. Looks like he rotates out. Merlin is also over here, so we're just gonna fall back. We don't really have the health to fight anything. We're gonna pick up Brawler's Beat Stick. Brawler's Beat Stick is going to give us 40 power, it's going to give us 15 flat penetration, and it has a passive that whenever we damage an enemy with an ability, they're going to have 40% reduced healing and regeneration for 8 seconds. The flat 15 pen is going to be very helpful in the early game. It's going to just remove 15 protections from them for us as we deal damage to them. We're going to use our 2 onto this Hera, dodge her ability. Hit her with a basic attack. We still have our monkey. We miss our monkey. She uses her Argus. We're going to jump. Get the slow. I think we missed her, but we're able to clean her up with our basic attacks. We're going to check the enemy red buff. It is not there. So we did not get blue or the harpies. We just got speed and then kind of rotated mid. So we did miss out on a little bit of farm right there. We're going to make a play for the small harpy. Which is now a large harpy. I always refer to it as a small harpy. Go ahead and drop red buff. Merlin did not pick it up. Is he wearing the enemy red buff? I don't know what's going on there. We're going to go ahead and rotate over. Try to secure this blue buff for King Arthur. 
Although Anubis is pretty weak, we have our ultimate in about 10. If we can get this Anubis to step out of his tower, we could probably get a pick on him. Looks like he stepped out. We miss our monkey. We're going to cast our ultimate because we missed our monkey. The smarter play would have been to use our ultimate and then while they're being feared, use our monkey. The reason we keep showing face in solo lane is because Anubis did not buy beads. He most likely bought te teleport, so he's not going to be able to beads our ultimate. So if we use our ultimate, it's kind of a free kill. We go ahead and drop the blue buff for our King Arthur. We're going to go ahead and hit these harpies. Our speed is about to be up, so we're going to go ahead and clear this, pick up our speed buff. We're going to start rotating to the right side of the jungle. Ganesh is in mid, so same with Hera. We're going to rotate, see if we can help Merlin out a little bit. We use our two. Hera uses her shield. Hera uses her ultimate. We're just going to run away from Argus. No need to really fight this. We're able to dodge her ability. We throw our monkey. That's going to deal a little bit of damage to the Hera. It jumped from Argus to Hera back to Hera, and that was it. Because it can only hit enemy gods once. We're trying to burn Argus. Argus goes down. After going into Brawler's Speed Stick, we're going to be going into Hydra's Lament. Hydra's Lament is going to provide us 40 power, 10% cooldown reduction, 10 MP5, and it has two passives. The first passive being, for 8 seconds after an ability, the next basic attack will deal an additional 40% damage. And its second passive, you're going to gain 2.5 MP5 per 10% of your missing mana. We're really getting this for the extra damage on our basic attack after an ability. We use our monkey. We somehow dodged that. I thought she hit us. That's her Aegis. We should be able to just clean her up with our basics without using our ultimate. We miss our jump. Oh no. Did we, did we oof that? Oh, we oof that so hard. That was an easy kill. We missed our ultimate. We're going to have to fall back. I don't think we get anything right there. In fact, we might even go down. We jump away. And our team was able to provide a little bit of peel for us. We're going to go ahead and back. We don't have the health to really fight anything right here. We have two wards. We need to remember to place those wards. And our speed buff is about to be up. So we're going to go speed blue harpies. Or speed harpies blue. Go ahead and give the jungle shrine a little love tap. Rotate to blue with King Arthur. I think he came to blue a little too early. He missed out on some farm right there. An ally has been slain. We have enough money for Hydras, but we do not necessarily have the timing for the back. We're going to use our two. We get some good damage onto that Ratatasker. We jump. We just need to hit one or two more basics on him. A swing and a miss, a swing and a miss, and Ganesh ult is here, so we're going to have to fall back. We might be down right here. Yeah. Unfortunate. We were one basic attack away from getting that Ratatasker. We're going to go ahead and pick up Hydra's Lament. And then we're going to go into Aegis. They don't have the heaviest CC team comp. They do have a lot of damage. I think having an Aegis for Anubis ult, for Argus, for chasing Ratatasker, or a Ganesh ult could be pretty helpful. They have two people pressing our mid. Our red buff is up, so we're probably going to rotate to the right side of the jungle. Ratatasker is on our King Arthur. Looks like they were able to secure our red buff, so we're going to actually show face and left. Ratatasker is here. We're going to jump on him. That's going to apply slow. I think we missed our monkey. 
We're gonna blink, use our ultimate, just go ahead and confirm. After missing that last ultimate in mid, we're definitely gonna just burn it whenever we can. Our speed buff is up, so that's a pretty high priority for us. We're gonna rotate back and get the speed buff. Two people on King Arthur again. We're gonna rotate over, see if there's anything we can do to help. Looks like they peeled back, so we're just gonna drop his blue buff. We're kind of shown face, just in case they both rotate back. I think the Ganesh probably rotated away. Usually, I do not like hitting Totem with Q with just a jungler. I think it's kind of a waste of time. That's a solo lanes person's job. We're going to go ahead and drop their blue buff. Merlin's asking for some help, so we're going to rotate over. Ratatasker is able to get the pick onto him. Ratatasker falls back. He's kind of our target. We're not really looking to get a fight with this Ganesh. Well, now that it's just Ganesh, we'll fight him a little bit. Get some basics. His one actually kind of hurts us. Ratatasker's here. We're going to jump away. And we're going to go ahead and not back. We're going to stay in the lane, clear this fat minion wave, and then try to secure the red buff. We do have our ultimate if anybody tries to pressure us. Hunbats' ultimate is great for initiation or it's great for disengagement. If we were being chased, we could just throw it and then try to run away. It would buy us a very decent amount of time. It looks like Anubis backed up, so we're just going to go ahead and back. And then we're going to start working on Erendite. Erendite is going to provide us 75 power and 10% cooldown reduction, bringing us up to 20% cooldown reduction. Erendite's passive. After you ult, you're going to reveal all enemy gods within 120 units for 8 seconds. While moving towards enemies, you're going to gain 30% movement speed. Basic attacks are going to deal 40 damage plus 30% of your power. This can only occur once every 45 seconds. So we're going to ult, we're going to get a little bit of a movement speed increase, and then our next basic attack is going to be even further enhanced. So we have Hun Bats as passive, we're going to use our ultimate, we use our 2, we use our 3, we're going to blink in, we're going to try to get some basics, and we're able to get a double kill right there. So after we use our ultimate, we're going to have the 15% from our passive, we're going to have... 40 additional damage on our basic attack from Hydras, and we are going to have Erendite, which is going to be 40 damage plus 30% of our power. So we're really stacking a lot of damage onto our basic attack after we use an ability. After we use our ultimate, it'll be even more damage because Erendite will also be factored in there. We are finally going to make a gank attempt on right. We're going to jump, apply slow, use our monkey, use our two, get a little bit of damage. Their Ganesh uses his ultimate. We're going to kind of stick to him until we start taking shots from the Shibalanke. Hera's here. We throw our monkey, get some good damage. We jump in. That was a terrible jump in and an even worse jump out. We use our Aegis and we just get turned on. We should not have teleported to that monkey. Best case scenario, we would have gotten a pick onto Ganesh and then died. I don't think we were getting a pick on any more than him. So that was just a bad decision by me. We should not have used R3 to teleport in there like that. Someone's throwing up a surrender. Not sure what's going on there. I feel like we're still in this game. We're down two kills, down about 3,000 gold.
Anubis is able to get the tower in left. Looking at the minimap, we're going to want to go speed and then kind of clear the harpies in blue. Hun Bats is definitely one of my least played characters. I think I used to be making a pretty bad mistake of leveling up his 2 before leveling up his 3. And whenever you do that, you just don't have the damage. His 3 at level 5 can do 300 damage per hit. And I think his 2 at level 5 does around 280 damage. So in a team fight, you could potentially do 1200 damage versus 290 damage. Well, I guess 290 if you land on multiple people, but still. The monkey, you just got to hit it and it's going to bounce around and do all your damage for you. Plus, we have Brawler's Beat Stick, so it's going to apply that 40% anti-heal. We're going to jump over the wall. We have our ultimate. We're going to use our... Oh, wow. That was a terrible ultimate. We got very, very eager to just drop that. The Nubis is rotating over. We're going to be kind of careful how we fight this. Ganesh is also here. King Arthur is rotating behind them. So now it's kind of a favorable fight. We got to save our three. Make sure we hit somebody with it. And we do not. Ratatasker ultimate is incoming. He's probably going to go on Merlin. We're going to use our two. Try to help this Merlin out a little bit. We're saving our jump. We don't want to just run in there. We're going to throw our three. Get some good damage onto everyone. Teleport in. Ganesh is using his silence, so we could not use our ability. Our team is so weak. We're going to fall back a little bit. Luckily, nobody went down, but we did lose that team fight. We're kind of hanging out for our ultimate. We can't do much, but once we do get our ultimate, we could probably do a lot. We're going to teleport in, use our two, kind of peel away, see if they chase, see if they go to tower. We just now get our ultimate. We're going to jump in, drop our ultimate, and we just happen to be on a Ganesh ultimate whenever we were using our two. So that was greedy. There was probably a couple of things we could have done differently there. One, we were pretty weak, so we should have been very careful on how we chose to engage. We had our blink, so there was no need to jump over the wall and then kind of not see what we were jumping into. We could have easily stepped back, blinked in, used our ultimate, tried to get some damage off, and then use our jump to get out. If we have blink up, we should not use our jump to engage. After going into Erendite, we're going to be going into Heartseeker. Heartseeker is going to provide us 65 power, 200 mana, 20 MP5, and 10% physical penetration. It has a passive that our abilities are going to deal 3% of the target's maximum health. If we have over 200 power, this is going to scale up to a potentially 6% at 400 power. Subsequent hits on the same target are going to deal 75% of the bonus damage for the next 3 seconds. We're going to go ahead get our speed, kind of start a rotation. No one is a level 20, so I feel like it's a pretty competitive game. We're actually down, but we are making a comeback. We're only down about a thousand gold instead of three, and we're only down, well, we're tied in kills. We're not down in kills. King Arthur is all the way in right, so we're going to go ahead and clean up his lane. Probably don't need to drop the blue buff since King Arthur is not here, but we are because we want the gold and the XP. I think we've held on to these two wards this entire game, so that is absolutely something that we can improve on. We use our three. Anubis is using his teleport. We should have just gotten a basic attack off there. Not sure where Anubis teleported to. We do have our ultimate, so we should try to fight somebody right here. Try to engage onto someone. Be 
we use our ultimate. We get some damage off. Unfortunately, we did not connect onto that Ratatasker. Hera and Ganesh provide a little bit of peel, so we're going to have to fall back a little bit. We're going to go ahead and clear these mid harpies. Anubis is in mid. Turn's able to clean up the Anubis. Bit of a team fight going on in the left, so we're going to rotate over. Ratatasker just uses ultimate. I think he used it to run away, so now it is a 2v3. We use our monkey. Get some decent damage onto the Ganesh. Trying to be selective on how we fight this. Ganesh uses his silence that cancels us out of our two. Luckily our two does not go on cooldown. That was a terrible monkey. We're going to fall back. Our speed is up. We do have enough money for Heartseeker. There's nothing really on the map for us to get. We're not grouped up enough to get Fire Giant. So we're just going to back, pick up Heartseeker. Hey, we placed the ward. We're going to pick up another ward, and we're going to pick up a health potion. We're going to go ahead and make our way to the speed buff. Merlin's dropping red, but we're level 20, so it doesn't really matter how much XP we get. Now we're really just concerned about accumulating gold. Anubis is all the way in right, so solo lane's pretty open. We probably don't need to rotate fully to the left. You could probably help out in mid. Come on here. Commit to those harpies. Ooh, two people here. We're going to use our monkey. Use our two. We get polymorphed by Hera. We do have our ultimate, so we're probably going to want to drop this on our next engagement. Ganesh and Shablanke, we're going to use our two. Get a little bit of poke onto Shablanke, try to avoid some of his basic attacks. That's his dash. Unfortunately, there was no follow-up. We're going to rotate right. These guys are way too deep to just be able to get our tower for free. We're going to jump over the wall, drop our ultimate, throw our monkey. Unfortunately, we miss our monkey. We're going to use our abilities on Anubis. We're able to clean him up. We're pretty weak. We're going to have to be careful. We're going to need to avoid the Ganesh because I'm pretty sure Ganesh can kill us with his one right now. Just got to make sure he didn't push this way. And we should be able to back right here. We're going to pick up two health potions and go ahead and rotate out. They have more towers down than us, but we have more kills than them, and I feel like we also have a little bit more map pressure. We've gone for more objectives than they have. Attack! We're going to go ahead and hop over this wall, clean up this wave a little bit so nobody can try to backdoor this right lane. Ganesh is chasing King Arthur in mid. Shablanke is also rotating in. Hera's rotating in. There's about to be a fight in mid, so we're going to start rotating that way. We're going to have our ultimate in 10 seconds. Ratatasker is also there. We're going to wait, see if anyone overcommits right here. Does not look like they're going to. Ratatasker is right there. We're going to set up a ward. King Arthur is just running down. Four or five people. He gets his ultimate off onto the Anubis. We're going to blink in, drop our ultimate, try to connect on as many people as possible. We get the pick onto Anubis, and now we're going to dip out. We did our job. We got a pick, and we were able to survive. Now we're going to run through jungle, see if we can re-angle, maybe get a pick on somebody else in the back line. We're going to loop around tower. Ratatasker uses their ultimate. Merlin's able to get the pick onto Ganesh. We're just going to hang out here. They got to run back eventually. We get the pick onto Ratatasker. We're going to use our two. Get some damage onto that Hera. Shablanke is rotating in. Now we're just going to work on the tower. They have Hera and Shablanke up. So I think the smart play is going to be to rotate to the Gold Fury. Especially since our tanks 
have rotated that way. The Primal Fury is going to give us a buff where we deal 5% more damage to enemy jungle camps or any jungle camp. The Fire Giant is considered a jungle camp. It's also going to give us an enhanced minion wave in each lane. Pick up a couple wars, we're going to sell our starter item and pick up Jotun's Wrath. I don't know about this item, I feel like it's a little late in the game to be trying to get our last 20% of cooldown. I think Blood Forge would be a decent item, I think Mantle of Discord is always a solid item. And then we'd probably want to pick up Titan's Bane. So either go Jotun's and Mantle, or go Mantle and, and Titan's Bane. They're kind of working on Pyromancer. I think it was just the hair. We're going to set up a ward, see if we can get some vision on her. We just need to group as a team and push, and I think we can win the team fight. We're going to throw our monkey. It's just going to clear some minions. Ganesh is rotating towards our damage. We get our two off, we get a basic off, so we follow up the Hydras and our passive. We're going to stick to this Ganesh, we throw our monkey, we jump out, we probably, oh, we used our three, we used our two, we're able to clean up the Ganesh and we're going to fall back a little bit right here. Our team's just running them down, somebody's got to get the tower. We're going to go ahead and clean up the tower while our team pushes for kills. They just have two people left. The Anubis and a Shablanke. Churn gets the Anubis. We might be able to end right here, but the enemy team surrenders. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps these videos out. If you feel like you learned anything at all, check out the channel and subscribe for more content. These stats for this game will be posted in just a moment. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.